Where there is love, there is peace. When there is peace and love, there is water, fresh, beautiful fruits. <laughs> You're already recording? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm 34 years old. My name is Renan. I'm from Brazil. I've been vegan for nearly seven years. Um, I went vegan because I moved from Brazil to Australia and I never had a chance to know anything about vegetarianism and veganism before in Brazil. I never met anyone. And then when I got to Australia, I got exposed to vegetarianism more often, to every place I would go and seeing things. And then I was more open-minded to research. And then I found about vegetarianism. I became vegetarian for the animals because it's not the right thing to do, exploit them for our own pleasure. And then, but I didn't know anything. I just became vegetarian for the sake of just do it for the animals. But then that was hurting me because I was eating wrong. Why, then, why, you were, why were you eating wrong? Because I was, I didn't know I was eating, I didn't know how I could uh, explore that area of that diet so I was eating only pasta rice and vegetables and I thought it was the right thing to do but I was eating pretty bad most of it was pasta and rice so I was feeling myself to fulfill that desire that we have as normal carnivores that we need to fill the stomach full stuffed and I was filling myself with carbohydrates just to make me feel full. And, but then I ended up losing a lot of weight. Really? Yeah, that was doing, that the opposite happened because I was eating more carbohydrates, but I do a lot of exercise. So I was doing a lot of exercise and a lot of getting enough nutrients and proteins. I wasn't eating much vegetables or fruits. And, and then I've heard about veganism and I never heard before and I researched and what is that and when I found out was like that's what I need to do you know you know and something happens someone tells you something and just clicks you and that just clicked me instantly and but then I knew I would need to research because that would take a lot of effort from my part to learn and to to follow that path and so I started to research and I changed my diet slowly with uh, more, I introduced more grains, more seeds, more natural fat and, and then I started to put weight again and, and then after six months, still to this day I still research a lot, every day. I think every vegan, if not, should research every day about things. Every time you meet someone like Greg, I met Greg, he has like ideas that I never thought of before, like about the salt. For me, was salt was just a normal, normal thing, but actually salt is, is, can much, do as much damage as sugar. But that's the interesting thing, that's an interesting conversation to have with different vegans, because everyone has a different point of view of things. The only thing I don't like about vegans usually is because they they believe they're all right and most of the time we're not. We follow something that we are doing that's correct, but sometimes we we're too stubborn. We believe in our own ideas and that's what is right and but that's why I think we should have more conversations, especially between groups and organizations, to instead fighting on their own we should be all together not fighting for something but you know uh, it's not fighting but creating something that people would follow and and then when I became vegan I, well, I when was it 2010 okay so no 2000 sorry 2012 six yeah years, about six years yeah beginning of 2012 so it was, was like March of mm -hmm. 2012, okay, good one. April, so it was nearly seven years. Yeah. So, and, and was, it's really interesting, like for me, in Australia, I, I saw 
the growth of veganism like when i became vegan was like one or two shops restaurants being vegan so it was pretty hard for me to find vegan food so i had to travel across the whole city to go to brunswick street to get a pizza and veggie bar and today anywhere you go in melbourne it's pretty much they have a vegan option and brunswick street now is a full-on vegan place so you can walk happy can have pizza burger ice cream massage beauty products leather everything everything is vegan so, so what is a vegan massage ah, i was just making a joke uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so but well you can say that vegan massage is a place that gives you massage with vegan products here you go yeah and yeah. or vegan people giving yeah you... even like uh tattoos there's places in mm. melbourne that you get tattoos and they have vegan ink mm. so you can always ask and they probably say uh vegan tattoo artist or vegan some so. people some people have asked me like um the ink when it's not vegan what is it then well, they, 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 there is some animal product in there. I'm not sure what it is, mm. but I always make sure I ask. And in Melbourne, it was easy because most of the places, they're already using vegan-friendly ink. Not all, but the ones I researched out of, let's say, six or seven, like five were like vegan ink. Mm. So there's options out there for everything so you're always gonna find someone that do something that you want in a vegan way um, so yeah then I became vegan and I saw this and then when I went back to Brazil it was horrible because there's no vegans there's no options at all but then I was surprised because just across the street from my house there was a vegan place they sell vegan burgers, vegan pizzas, vegan pasties. It was a completely vegan homemade place. It was just a little door with some vegan stuff. Just across my my house, across the street. And and then I actually found out that Curitiba, where I'm from, is the vegan capital of Brazil. It's the most vegan friendly place in whole Brazil. And then they have even a, a butcher shop vegan. They had all the vegan stuff. We went there, we bought like barbecue and stuff. So I made for my family so they could try. I'm not a big fan of that, but when you want to introduce people to this type of diet, the best way is to slowly show them that there's an alternative. You cannot simply take them and, oh, let's eat a raw salad and, you know, and eat fruits the whole day. They're going to look at you and say, no, nah, man, I'm not going to do it. So you have to you have to accept the same way you cannot judge people for because they're eating meat even if you know it's wrong but like for me I've done that for 20 something years of my life so how are we going to judge someone if I was doing this like a few years ago so you have to accept what you have to do you have to not being aggressive, you have to inspire people, you have to show them that there's a way. There's a Greg, we were in this market and they, the guy passed and he said like we are vegans, you know, eating corn. Because they said it's his way of to showing people that we cannot be, we can, we can be happy and healthy and strong being vegan. And people don't have this knowledge, they think we just eat rabbit food. But no, it's... it's it's a simple thing to do and it's amazing you can try so many things like we walk around the farm get papaya every day banana every day there's mango you know there's herbs tomato passion fruit just go grab it and eat it it's so easy it's so easy you just eat it anytime you want and uh, yeah that's why i'm vegan i'm happy being vegan and been trying and I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be raw in the future but you always try to to go as much raw as possible so now like we are doing pretty much 70% of the day raw we just do fruits the whole day and then dinner we have rice we have some steamed vegetables but I mean and we're happy look at this look at my face <laughs> look at Craig smile over there you know that can go wrong we can grow with natural sugar, man. So you've been here since Monday, and now it's Friday. Yeah, yeah. 
and you've been volunteering. What, what do you think about volunteering here? You've been volunteering in Sa Sahainan. Sahainan? Yeah. And can you tell a little bit, like, what is the difference of volunteering in different places, maybe? Just short. Yeah, well, the difference, main difference is over there, they were like more focused in permaculture, so was not that here is not, but over there was completely off the grid, you know, no electricity, the water was from the hill, and, you know, bamboo huts, like, without walls, was like pretty much open, and was completely isolated farm, like nothing around. So it was pretty cool. I love it. It was just more over there. They they really building more. They are trying to build a bigger farm and more permaculture, more grains. And are they building like huts or are they no. building like planting stuff? No, they're planting and but they have an idea to build like better huts soon. So they are always trying to improve in areas, but it's a big farm. So they're trying to slowly doing, and on the same time they do the course, the permaculture course that I totally recommend. It's a nice thing to learn. Uh, I've learned a lot actually. It's the same as in there as in here. The volunteer thing is not, you. they don't push you to do things. If you are not feeling doing it, you just let them know. But for me, when I come to a place to volunteer, because I want to be there to help, if, if I don't want to volunteer, I should just go to a hotel. Or I should just pay extra and stay in my hut the whole day, but what's the point? So I came here and went to Sahin and I'm going to go to the next place and the next because I want to help. So the main difference is over there was like if you want to help, they really need help to improve because they're always doing something big to improve here, improving there and always growing doing different stuff here as well but here is in a small scale because the farm is smaller and and here you have electricity too you have hot shower you know like over there you don't uh, but but here is, is is nice because you can help you, you you just offer your service and Greg is gonna be happy to help you to help you know? <laughs> this is amazing like this place is amazing Look at this. Peaceful, fresh fruits, good people. On the website of Sahainan, I, I, I wrote, read that they will make either uh, vegetarian or vegan food. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so, so they are able to make that. Yeah, they, they, they made for me every day. It was Before, it was like a couple of friends of mine were there as well. They were vegan. And they were making pretty much the whole meal vegan. But once they left, it was just me and another five people that they weren't vegan. So, but every day I would have like three meals, vegan meals. Everybody would eat, but she was making especially for me because I was the only vegan. But every day I would have something. So they always treat you well. They're going to do whatever you need to, to make you feel welcome. The main difference is in here, everything is vegan. So... You know, I don't need to, you know, when you are vegan, you go to a place, even if you know people say it's vegan, you just make sure, you are, they're sure there's no milk, there's no egg, or it's vegan, you know, or as you said the other day, you don't need to check if the spoon was used to mix fry eggs, mm -hmm. the same spoon that they use to stir fry vegetables. So that's the difference. Here you just, you just sit back and enjoy the ride. Oh, when you go to another place that's not vegan, you always have to be aware. That's the main difference. And it's one of the reasons I also decided to come here for a while. I said, I would just want to go to a place where I, I can, you know, just eat fruits without any stress. Mm. Yeah. I started from Sahainan, so we started, you start, Sahainan is completely off the grid. So for me, it was like, from, you're not going to go like that not worse but you're not gonna get raw as that that is completely raw pretty much you can say that that's a raw vegan kind of thing if you compare to a diet that's a raw vegan and here is vegan so that's what I'm saying 
some people wouldn't last a day in there. Some people would stay there, oh, no, it's too much. But some people like me, there was another French guy who was there for like nearly a month. It was, they told me there was a French guy that stayed for a year. So some people love it. I love it. I would live there forever if I could, you know. But it's not just what I want now. I need to travel. But some people need comfort. Some people need hot shower. Some mm. people need internet. Mm. Some people need uh, filtered water, you know. Some people are not built for that. People were born to be in a bed sheet, you know. But some people can sleep on the floor when I sleep in bed. So I think the, the camp here is amazing uh, because you get all the comfort we are used to, but in a simple way and is fresh and is free of noises and that's why I think that's an amazing camp because you have a fridge, you have clean water, you have hot shower, you have light and you have internet. So what else do you need? You have fresh fruits. You don't need anything else to survive. It's everything you need for the modern life. So that's why I think here is a place that's more suitable for people from the big cities because, you know, is more is more welcoming than when you get to let's say I'm not comparing but when you go to off the grid place and then but they welcome you still it's yeah just, no it, no it's just it's more it's just more like primitive it's more exotic there. yes it's that's more right. it's more exotic yeah. if you're not used to if you were used to having walls then you're put into a mosquito net without walls and you need to sleep in the yeah. wild and they're like uh, maybe snakes and scorpions and insects everywhere yeah. then it's like maybe you're not so it's it's beyond your comfort zone yeah like some people here are even like beyond their comfort zone yeah. so i imagine it's like Hainan is mm -hmm. would be completely like uh, yeah on another level that, but that's why i'm saying don't get me wrong that not that they don't yeah. welcoming you mm -hmm. but i mean it's more welcome for someone that walks into a place that's mm. off the grid and mm. one place that you have all the comfort you need yeah. mm. so it's more like it's more heart, uh, mm. warm hearting to receive you like, oh, I yeah. have everything I need, cool. so I'm fine. But depends on what you want. Some people like to climb the Everest. Some people mm. like to scuba dive mm. as deep as possible. So mm. it depends on who you are. It's mm. like, I think it's, bo it's amazing to experience both ways and mm. also go to a hotel in Chiang Mai and mm. have your own shower mm -hmm. and your own frigo bar and your bar and everything. it's up to you what you want to do you know the the help you've done here is like amazing so thank you very much for helping uh, out volunteering yeah, yeah. it's like uh, really nice to get people like you here and yeah. uh, help out on, on on in the camp but what kind of work have you uh, what what have you done so people know like, like we have different seasons like yeah. i would love people to come here during the fruit season like the longan to pick longan fruit yeah that would be probably the most thing you i would get yeah. help to during the fruit season to pick the fruit but now what kind of things were you doing i've pretty much been dealing with bamboo that's something that we love it the cutting bamboo and slicing bamboo we even did like a little uh roof uh holder with bamboo uh, we do a little bit of picking, we cut some bananas, banana flowers, we went to the other farm to grab some limes, we went a walk around the village, we went to the other vegan camp farm area that we collect some rocks because they are building the, the floor in the storage area. So it's a nice, actually, pretty nice idea to have rocks on the floor. So you don't need to build cement or anything. It's just natural rocks. So we pretty much go all the way up there, like five, ten minutes walk. We grab the rocks and then we just enjoy the view and the peace. And then we just walk back singing and talking. And then we just drink smoothies and then... We just water plants a little bit. Some yeah, we stuff. do a little bit of cooking. We did the other day uh, banana flower pancakes. That was easy and pretty good. Uh, and the compost. The compost. The compost as well. The compost is always nice. I always lo love the compost. 
I love rubbish. I don't know why. I just like to organize rubbish because it's a nice thing to do. Small things that if you, you don't need to be asked to do it, this kind of stuff, you know? Like when someone comes to your house, what happens? You cook for them and what usually people say, no, no, I'm going to wash it, you know? It's the same thing. You just come in here. It's not, it's not the hotel, you know? You're just coming here. They are opening their doors. Of course, you have to to afford to come here and stay but at the same time they are opening your doors for a fair price where you can have your own hut you can have fresh food and you just need to help a little bit so washing the dishes is something that's going to take you 10 minutes you know 10 yeah, minutes so, less so, on facebook so, is yeah, not yeah, a big yeah. deal guys I, I mean like volunteering like we, we expect from volunteers that they help out with yeah. stuff like that but like we also offer like uh, accommodation where you can just relax. If you yeah, want. if people want to come here and just chill, fair enough. But if you're a volunteer, I mean, it's, the word is already saying you volunteer. You're just helping. And that's the main reason why you volunteer, especially in Thailand. You know, people really need that. And if you don't want to volunteer, just don't go to these camps. Go to a place and stay in a hotel. It's or come to the camp or and, come to the camp and play more and chill you know it's just if you're a volunteer come here to have a good time with good conversations Craig loves a vegan crazy conversation yeah man. about the flat earth he loves it <laughs> yeah, he's been earth. researching yeah yeah he all believes the time like, flat the yeah. last like 20 hours of research man in flat earth he loves that bananas are actually berries not fruit yeah. not like uh, no they are fruits but they are berries like an orange and watermelon so he loves this kind of stuff so bring it on he's gonna love it he's gonna <laughs> love it crazy cool. stuff guys crazy crazy videos. yeah i love crazy stuff yeah just come just come over you're gonna love it you're gonna love it i wish the world was vegan that is a well, well as you said after but i think a lot of people wish that you know it would be a way better place of course it would and if people say the opposite well, the word it is what it is because it's not vegan, so it, don't tell me that I'm wrong, you know. People, everybody's complaining. I don't see one peop, one person not complaining about the, the state of the planet right now. If it was vegan, it would be different. Maybe it would be bad, worse, but I'm pretty sure it would be better. Yeah, the time the time is now. We are here right now. There's a, a guy from my workplace in Melbourne, team. And he used to come every day and say, what a better time to be alive, you know? What a time to be alive. It is right. We are right now, right here. Probably when you are watching this video, you are in the future, you know? Because now, now is the present, but it's going to be past. So when you are watching this, start to look life in that way. That your time is now, so do something that matters, you know? Just don't waste your time with things that's not gonna add anything for the for the community or for the society you know just be yourself but spread the love that's all we need to do love where there is love there is peace when there is peace and love there's water fresh beautiful fruits and everybody's happy I never saw someone surrounded by love peace water and fresh fruits that is not happy you know show me one that it is and then and then I give up. You know? It's because it's not possible. Just be yourself and love others. Yeah, that's a good thing because you are watching because you create that that desire of watching something. So when you saw something, you click it, it's because your mind sent that that knowledge to create that vision. And that vision was created and you click that and you're watching this video, but actually this did, doesn't exist. It's creation of your own mind. So it's because you want to watch it. So when you click something, when you choose something, when you go travel, when you take the left instead of the right, it's your own decision. It's because you want to see what's on the left side, not on the right. So the right doesn't exist. The only thing that exists is the left. But because you create it. So you're watching this. I hope is there's a meaning of for you. There's something that you can take out of it. Because if not, you should click the next video for someone else. They might show you how to play soccer. 
I don't know, that might be your future. Or might be like, I don't know, have your own farm, agriculture, whatever. But you know, just have to click or just have to get something from whatever you're watching or studying or seeing or experiencing. And this is an experience, out, out, out body experience. Huh? And if you like this guy, you need to click the like button. <laughs> yeah. And if you don't like, if you don't like, you don't like, don't dislike. But and if you don't like, I don't know what, why you are wasting your time watching me anyway, man. If you get you so far to this point, I think you probably like it. If not, fuck you. <laughs> not gonna change my life anyway, man. I don't know. Love, love. Okay, man. I love you all. Love so you, thank Greg. You. Love thank you. Big, <laughs> thanks. Big. Thanks for sharing you. Sharing me, thanks. Well, no, it's easy. Thank you. Fuck. I love it. Is human life on Earth related to extraterrestrials? Panspermia is a mechanism that allows biology to spread through space without needing a spacership. Fuck. They have a study for all this shit. Are we descendants or refugees from Mars? See? Yeah. Scientists and research believe that eons ago, humanoids inhabited Mars, but a war destroyed the livability of the planet. This could have been due to equivalent of two hydrogen bombs exploding on Mars 300,000 to 1 million years ago. It is possible some living beings were able to escape to Earth before destruction. That's why uh, that's something that I actually believe. That's something that I, Mysteries of the Fact, they have a whole study here. Gaia, there's more to you than you think. Fuck. Travel down <laughs> new road like, like to when, Gaia. When, when you get a, like, what, what is your YouTube channel? You have you have created one, right? No, no. I told I, you you should create one, right? Oh well, but I don't. But but okay. But when the video comes out, I will have I will put a link down below <laughs> because there you have a, you will send me a link to your YouTube channel. Okay, okay. When when uh, like in a couple of days. Because look at this, Gaia.com. Then I say there is more to you than you think. Travel down a new road with Gaia, a member-supported conscious media company. Join our community of seekers, dreamers, and doers to empower your own evolution. Discover over 8,000 plus ad-free streaming videos to inspire and encourage curiosity. Everything is waiting for you. Which path will you choose? Fuck, I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna become a member. Man. What is it? Gaia. Gaia. Wow. Gaia.com. What's this thing? Antibiotic resistant superbugs no match for ancient Irish soil. Mysteries of the human heart. Ancient Celtic mythology. Akhenaton, the erratic pharaoh. Hack codes and flu with a bath tube and Epsom salt. Healing yourself, binaural beats, facts and fiction. The five best underrated U UFO documentaries on Gaia. Anubis, Egyptian Dark Lord, 99 cents for the first two weeks. Look at this. Indonesian pyramid may be the final proof of lost civilization. Mysterious triangular object floats past SpaceX Dragon Capsule. Color your world, how colors heal. Material is baffled by 50 miles. What fuck? NASA Curiosity <laughs> rover found a strange metallic object on Mars. 25 days ago. We don't hear these things from TV, man. I'm talking to the machine. Rage against the machine, man. Rage against the machine. I love that name. Why? Because it 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 kind of uh, it uh, resu not resumes it uh, concise everything that people are feeling these days. You have your rage and it's against the machine. Which machine? It's not technology, but I mean the machine that runs the, the planet, the system. 
So that's why I love that name, rage, like rage, like rise your rage against the machine. Mm -hmm. Don't waste your rage in things that don't matter. You know? mm -hmm. That's why I love it. Yeah, good definition. I'm good, I'm good. Why should I put the beer like that? <laughs> Better. <laughs>